Hello and welcome to Vinsloof Academy. In this Arduino for Beginners tutorial, we're going to work with the microcontroller Arduino from this super starter kit right here. We are going to use the Arduino Uno and some of the parts from this set right here. So if you want to have all the parts that I have in this tutorial, I will be having a link to it in the, the description. But you can also buy a minor starter kit uh, than this one, which is the super starter kit and then you will also be fine and if you already have a arduino uno and some parts you should also be able to follow some part of this tutorial there might be some episodes where i'll be using specific parts that is present in this set that you might be missing but we'll be working with this arduino uno here and we'll be having a closer look in this episode at exactly what is present on this circuit board and why arduino is such a great microcontroller and what you can use it to because basically the Arduino is capable of running small and simple software programs and since the Arduino don't use that much power they are exceptional at running these because they have greater processing power than a human but they don't use enough power to be in need of a large power supply so a minor battery can actually have your arduino running for days and executing whatever application that you can imagine and program into this so you can make all sort of different things with this part you have right here and there is also some larger kits and you can uh, buy robots uh, small robots that you can program as well and i also have a link to the arduino website where you can see all the different stuff that is available but for now in this episode we'll dive into this right here and see what is on the board so when working with an arduino you often hear that the arduino is one major microcontroller and that is not entirely true because basically this arduino right here is not one uh, single microcontroller it is actually a circuit board that has several microcontrollers on it so for example this piece right here is a microcontroller attached to this circuit board so this outer frame right here is a circuit board that has several elements on it and as i mentioned before there are different kind of arduinos so this is the arduino uno which is the basic uh, microcontroller board that you can get but you can also get a higher arduino version which have, for example, Ethernet uh, capabilities attached to it. But the one I have here has this one uh, microcontroller here, and then it has the capability of connecting through USB. And that is one of the great thing about Arduino in general, because all the versions come with this feature that you can connect it directly to your computer. And the reason why this is great is because Arduino which is the company that are making these circuit boards has also made their own programming language specifically for the hardware that they make so they have made a very easy to learn programming language that allow us to skip a uh, binary language because normally when you're working with circuit boards like this you will have to program your hardware using binary language and that is very hard and very tedious to learn but by using this arduino programming language you will get started very easy because you can uh, reuse a lot of the stuff that you have, for example, learned in other programming language, or you can start here in this Arduino and then actually take what you learn in the Arduino programming language over to another language, for example, Python. So this is the element that allows us to connect to our computer. And this allows us to take our application that we have coded and put it into our Arduino. And the chip that is enabling us to get this into the Arduino and execute it and take take uh, charge of sending uh, messages back and forth between our Arduino circuit board and our computer is this chip right here. Another feature of this USB capability is that we are enabled to power up the Arduino through this. So when you have connected your Arduino to your computer, it will use the power from your computer to run the hardware on this board which enables you to test and debug without have to connect batteries and stuff like that. But you can also do that, of course. And Arduino are very battery efficient. So you don't need to switch battery every now and then, but you can actually connect a minor battery and then have it running for days. But besides this, 
tube right here, we have a little red button here, which you should also be familiar with. This is the reset button, and that will, once clicked, reset the Arduino and force the microcontroller to rerun your application. So if you have coded something and you want to reboot, simply like you do on your mobile phone or your computer, by clicking a button, you have the same capability on this red button right here. It will reboot the Arduino and start your uh, application from scratch. Besides this, we also have the pin connectors. And these are the ones we see here. And we have other pin connectors here where we are connecting our pin cables, but there are a difference between these two. So we'll start up here. First of all, we have this TX and RX right here. And the TX is for sending serial data. So this one right here. And RX is for receiving serial data. And besides that, we also have the pins from 2 to 13 right here. And where these can be used for GPS modules, Bluetooth modules, or, or Wi-Fi. These are the ones that we will be using for digital input and output. And normally, when working with these circuit boards, you are thinking in binaries because basically all a circuit board and basically computer hardware does is speaking in zeros and ones, meaning the binary because it is run on ele electricity. But there are actually a way that we can use a third state on this, but th this is a bit out of scope for this uh, basic tutorial. But if you want to read more on it, you should try to look up tri-state logic. But normally you will have a binary uh, use of these where you, for example, have uh, it split such that, for example, 5 volts will be a digital 1 and 0 volts will be a digital 0. So you will be speaking in binary. So this is what we use this part of the board for, so from 13 to 2, where these have their own separate use. Then we have these right here. And basically, the first part here, which is A0 to A5, is as stated right here, analog. So these pins here is for analog input and output. And on the other side, we have the power. And there we'll basically be using this 5 volts and 3.3 volts. So this is a way for us to, for example, connect and uh, make a pin, for example, in the 5 volt, and then use the power from our, our Arduino to power our LED light or something else that we are connecting. So this is, for now, the basics that we will be in need of understanding. And later on, when we start to move into making some advanced stuff, using the Arduino tutorial, I will of course also explain exactly why we are connecting different pins to each of these ports and what is happening when we, are, when we are doing this and explain why if we do it in a different way, it will basically fail. So now that we have the basics of the, the board uh, explained, I will quickly dive over to the Arduino homepage so that you can see the way that you download the Arduino IDE and also the different kits and stuff that you can find on their website. So here we are at the arduino.cc, which is the homepage for the Arduino and the company behind them. So here you can first of all read more about an Arduino. You can see the new boards and the new shields that they have. A shield is basically um, a feature or a board that you can connect directly to your Arduino board and use it out of the box. Instead of having to set up all the pins yourself to, for example, a motor, you can connect a, a plugin that is made and already uh, easy to connect. But what else that you can do here is to use the store where you will be able to buy uh, bundles of, for example, kits and you will be able to buy additional uh, products and for example here you see that in this box right here which is the Arduino engineering kit you will get the capability of let's just enter it so that we can see it more closely you can see here you will have 
access to this little driving device here so that you can make something move instead of just having lights and you see it here and there are some stuff that you can do with this. So the possibilities of an Arduino is basically en endless and it's, it is only up to your imagination, imagination and the stuff that you have available to you that set the limit. But when you're working with Arduino, you need the Arduino IDE. So you will head over to software and downloads and then you will basically be downloading this Arduino IDE because this is where we're going to program using the Arduino programming language and then we will be able to upload it directly to our Arduino circuit board. So download this for whatever operation system you have available. I'm running Windows so I have it on a Windows but if you're using Mac or Linux just download that version and install it and then you are ready to get started with Arduino. In the next lecture we will look at how to get a light bulb to a uh, simple LED to light up and we will make a switch on it so that we can control it and make it uh, light up when a certain event is happening. So see you in the next lecture.